Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse our hearts from all our sins, so that conversion and change may spring forth in our lives. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated a reading from the first book of kings solomon stood before the altar of the lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel, and stretching forth his hands toward heaven, he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your co covenant of mercy with your servants who are faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? 
If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord, my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you heed the prayer which I, your servant offer in this place listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people israel which they offer in this place listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon the word of the lord thanks be to god how lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they, they would dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs, and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, 
how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, if someone says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is korban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel reading today is about the issue of being clean. Ang pagiging malinis. Sino ba? ang tunay na malinis. For the Pharisees, in our Gospel passage today, being clean is to wash away. But for the Pharisees, to wash away, to wash, is to cover up your faults. Washing away is not just really cleaning, but to cover up what you have been doing wrong. That is why in our Gospel reading today, Jesus told the Pharisees that you have used the word korban or dedicated to God in order to cover up your infidelity to your parents. For the Pharisees, washing away is covering up. Parang nagnakaw ka, pero lilinisin mo ang ebidensya para hindi makita na nagnakaw ka. Malinis ka ba talaga nun? o baka nilinis mo lang ang ebidensya para pagtakpan ang iyong ginawang mali. For Jesus, in our Gospel reading today, to be clean is to wash away through forgiveness, through conversion. To be clean is not just to wash away, to cover up your faults. Para kay Jesus, ang paglilinis ay pagbabago ng puso at sarili, paghingi ng tawad, pagbabago ng sarili. Ang paglilinis ay pagbabago at hindi lamang pagtatakip ng mali. That is why in our first reading today from the Book of Kings, we see King Solomon dedicating the new, beautiful temple that he built for the Lord. But how will he maintain the beauty of this temple? Solomon did not say that, Lord, we will keep it clean. Solomon did not say, Lord, we will keep it free from trash. How will the people make the temple clean? Solomon said, by being faithful to the Lord. By being faithful to our prayers. By being faithful to the commandments of God. That is how we will make this temple pure, clean, and beautiful. My dear brothers and sisters, to be clean is to wash away through forgiveness and conversion. It is not just washing away to cover up our faults. Today, 
the nation begins the campaign period for the national elections. Sino ang tunay na malinis? Ito ang araw na magsisimula tayong tumingin mabuti. Huwag lamang tumingin sa ibabaw. Baka malinis lang kasi may pinagtatakpan na mali. Tingnan, sino ba talaga ang malinis? Ang tunay na malinis ay yung magdadala ng tunay na pagbabago ng sarili, pagbabago ng ating mga puso. Amen. Please stand. Our worship is meaningless unless it proceeds from a sincere heart. We pray now to God the Father to create within us a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. For every petition, let us say, Father, open our hearts to your heart. Father, open our hearts to your heart. That the leaders of the church may always be guided by the light of the gospel and may not seek security in structures. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your, to your heart. heart. That as a community, we may not close our eyes to the real human needs of the poor who are in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your heart. That we may realize that the real test of how we are carrying out God's will is to be found in the way we treat others. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, open our hearts to your heart. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts to your heart. That the dead who have gone before us may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father open, open our, our hearts, hearts to your heart. heart. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, our God, 
who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Jose, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.